Hey guys, this is the Tuna here, and this is part 56 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play, in which we are charging ahead with, of course, Lonesome Road. So, let's see. I feel like I'm going to have to tweak some settings in the. Uh, I'm using the 4 gigabyte launcher right now because my computer can, you know, use a large amount or has large amounts of RAM, and I, again, I'm trying to just get the the best possible. Uh, Recording speed for you guys. So, uh oh. He was beeping about something, and there are, of course, red dots on the map. Of course, this isn't hit. I do have enhanced headers up. So they could very well be, you know, like two miles away, and uh, they'd still show up. But. Uh, didn't see a door there, but. As a Fallout player, if you don't you know, compulsively explore, then clearly Fallout hasn't taught you enough. Sorry if you just heard a weird vibrating sound. That is my phone going off. And aha! Stim packs. Three stim packs. You see the benefits of exploration and a safe. Yeah, like I was saying, you always want to look around. I mean, again, this should, this should be second nature to any Fallout player, no matter what Fallout games you've actually played. Or I guess maybe not tactics so much. I don't know tactics. I don't think it's should be on the exploring. But everything else. And sometimes you don't get that much for... Oh, a crowbar. Uh, the icon for that. Oh my god, I love that. It's like the Gordon Freeman armor. That's hilarious. Uh, I feel like... Does it have a beard like Gordon Freeman too? Oh, I think it does. That's amazing. I feel like I already saw one of these and I scrolled with them based on a comment on some of the one of my videos. Or not one of my videos, the last one of these. But I'll take it because... Oh, the Ralphie poster. So yeah, let's get to this. Oh, and Edie's fighting music going off. So I do wonder if you get him the upgrade or the laser upgrade back in the Mojave, and then you come here if he has uh, with Quantum. Uh, not that it's valuable at all, like Fallout 3. Quantums are not that I've really ever seen much, and the uh, the pre-war books are the two items that I just Fallout 3 has made me unable to get out of my head as being valuable, even though they're like eminently not. Also, I actually wanted to, uh, there's a fast travel point here. Nope. Oh, they have nuke symbols for the nukes. That's really useful, actually. Whoa! That's kind of just kind of, yeah, I want to go back to the entrance really quick, or I will once we clear up the enemies, because I feel like there are, like, I just against non-robots. I feel like there was, a uh, uh, that pipe. I want to see if that pipe is something you can actually walk up. I feel like it's not, but... Having just beat uh, Vampire the Masquerade, which whose end fe uh, features walking up pipes. Oh, enemies, enemies. And now that I actually don't have paper HP. To, I think I will add that a bit because 365 is a little, little crazy. But I also don't want the enemies to have that, the five times multiplication for their HP. So we'll finish this combat off first. And I do have the ambient for the music for the game. I mean, I, I can't use the radio anyways because the YouTube stupid copyright crap. Which really uh, disappoints me, but the ambient music is fantastic, and you know, I never uh, really would listen to Oh god, oh Jesus, lightning everywhere. I never really would listen to it normally, so... It's kind of, uh, makes for a nice change of pace. So we're gonna dart into Project Nevada. Uh, we've got character... Uh, third damage plus combat, uh... I think we'll make it a, a little weaker, because we're gonna take it, or I guess it has to be five, okay, so... Eight fifteen. Uh, we are gonna give them nothing because I've been there absurdly tough. Damage head. Alrighty. Yep, uh stealth plus movement. If I can check the rest of these already. And I have to check those later to see why I hot isn't working as well. Oh, dang. Alright. Oh, I'm kind of getting close to maxed out on everything that I actually care about, so. Uh. Oh, speech. I gotta forget speech. wonder if any of these are on some road perks. Hmm. That might be. Actually, I think that I've, I've seen that before, though. 
Also, uh, as an aside, if you have not seen the uh, Fall Nuke Break web series, I will link that in the description. It's the, the guys who did the, the fan film a while back that was really good. They're doing a web series. Uh, if you're following the film, you probably know about it, but on the off chance that you don't, uh, it's pretty awesome, uh, and you should definitely check it out, because it's really cool, uh, and very well done. Very enjoyable. So, yeah, pretty much it. Uh, quick draw. You know, let's take quick draw. Alright. In the spirit of... Yeah, it's a noticeable difference, I guess. I mean, oh, didn't mean to pick up that welder, but whatever. Alright. And there were doors to go through. Somewhere around here. I should check up in the crates first. Okay, explore, explore, explore. And an MRE. I will pass. We get some ammo though. Ooh, that's a really nice one. Some more ammo. Locked one. Probably have less than the unlocked one. Oh, and I was forgot to go to the Repcon HQ to get the rest of the microfusion cells. Well, I didn't do like half. I was so excited to just get here. I didn't do like half the preparation that I was planning on doing, and yep, it had less stuff. But yeah, as I've mentioned before, once I get to my Fallout 3 Let's Play, or maybe be requiring for Capital Wasteland, I'm in case I'm not sure how that works, but just expect to see me raging constantly at the lock picking in 3, because that's one of the things that irritates me most about the game. It's, it's not like a, a hindrance, because you have so many bobby pins compared to New Vegas, so like you can afford to break a ton of them, but you break so many of them that it's a real pain in the butt. Because you can only... Oh, there's Ulysses symbol. You can only fail three times, and then it's broken. Very, very irritating. Oh, and... Oh, God, Ravager. I don't want to be Ravaged. Oh, guess he's going to live up to his name, huh? How much HP do I have right now, by the way? 3-4 duo. Still kind of a lot. I'll take a look at that. This guy's got an NCR helm. Are there like NCR and Legion facts? Well, he's still got the, the Legion esque armor. Huh? What? Oh, you good on you, Ed? Uh, Eddie. Eddie, damn it, Eddie. His name is Eddie. Uh, so help me God, I will pronounce it right. Ooh, trooper armor. That's gotta be a new weapon. Maybe a new weapon? Or it might be. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I'm not sure if that's a new weapon or a modded weapon. So, I uh, will take a look at that. I feel like these guys probably wouldn't have modded weapons, just because, you know, it's New Vegas. But... Or, not New Vegas, it's a DLC. There's plenty of modded weapons in New Vegas. Uh, that's just stupid of me to say. So, let's take a look at this. Uh, I want to say, based on the name, that it, it, it seems like a modded weapon. In which case, actually, the nail gun could be one as well, thinking of it. <laughs> you know, after this, this playthrough... Or not this playthrough, after this episode, I will check uh, a description of the new weapons added in Lonesome Road so I can clarify for you from this point forward what is new and what is modded. Because uh, for the Xbox and PS3 viewers, I don't want you to think that you're going to be getting new weapons that you actually will not. Although you guys do have. Uh, ooh, they can heal me. Alright. Physical exam. Although you guys do have. Uh, Gunrunner's Arsenal to look forward to, so all is not lost. You guys will be getting quite a few spiffy new weapons, I'm sure. I'll be buying it alongside of you. Huh? Ooh, commissary. Modded weapons are now. I, I imagine it's, just, it's the same stuff they sold me already. Yep. It's just like a universal store. Oh, I can sell some of the crap to it. That's a great idea. So I'll sell this, which I don't need. So this, which I don't need, because I'm sure I'll have more, judging by the ways he's going. Uh, I kind of want to hang out to the nail gun, just because, you know, it's a nail gun. I don't think I have one yet, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that for now. And it's also going to be weird for me to get back into the fall-through mentality of caps are so much... Uh, individual caps are so much more valuable, because three, you have much less caps for things, but at the same time, everything costs. I remember when I was shocked when I first came to New Vegas, and, like, a hunting rifle was like 900 caps. Just, my god, I thought it was rich, and then it turned out, well, not so much. But, uh, oh, that's empty. At the same time, hunting rifles are also a bit better. Ooh, I like that. That's a cool effect. They're a bit better in uh, New Vegas than they were in 3. They're, the varmint rifle has become the standard crap jack of all trades weapon. Oh, buff out. Man, oh god, this is a lovely bathroom. Someone's been shooting. Damn it, I want a drink. I want to take the. 
syringe. But yeah, I have a very fond relationship with Buff, Buff Out ever since the end of Mothership J uh, Zeta, where, as I have mentioned, I spent like the last maybe third of the DLC just on Buff Out in a desperate attempt to bring everything I possibly could back. Good times. A lot of people are money around here, too. Not as much as dead money. It looks like, but I imagine you'll still be able to turn a hefty profit. Oh no! Another druid. Destroyed I about. Oh my god, ED is gonna be like ridiculous when I get out of here. I get Veronica one of these DLCs. Microfusion cells. Oh, it's 3 wrench in the smaller drill. Alright, uh, more energy ammo with no quality loss. Alright, uh, Microfusion cells, let's do it. 35, damn, that's not bad. Yeah, man, ED is definitely going to be uh, my, my second go-to companion after Veronica. After this, man, he gives you so much stuff that that is rather nuts. Fission battery powering the lamp. Interesting. What's this is about to break? Yep. Again, Fallout 3, I'm going to rage. Oh, I, I might, again, I might, I might try Requiem for it. Capital Wasteland. I'm a little more in there. Uh, I just don't want to even attempt to install that until after this let's play is done because it might mess up my saves. And, oh my god, I'd be kind of bummed if uh, damn it, my saves got messed up, and I wasn't able to finish the let's play which I've been working on for so long. So this is a tough lot. I'm also just terrible at lockpicking. Oh, yeah, there we go. I am bad. Armory access codes. That will come in handy. Looks like a jet. Yeah. I wonder if... Again, that looks like it might be a modded weapon. Just because the name is so specific. Uh, whereas fallout names or weapon names are usually more general and then the mod makers like to go into specific you know for all the uh, FPS fans out there alright so let's see if there's anywhere else we can go in here already explored here I think It's an auto dock, so it's good to know that's so, Yes, I think this is all I can do here, but I have the armory codes now, which will undoubtedly prove beneficial. And magazines, I don't think I've ever used a magazine this whole playthrough. Just, oh, is that a pencil? Oh, I keep got. I remember, got to remember to grab those for Willow. Two pencils. All right. Yeah, getting excited over pencils is nothing that I pictured or myself doing for uh, Willow's companion quest. But you know, it's the small things. I'm getting a little lag here. There we go. Let's go check out the. Uh, oh, that's the gate. We can open it. What does that mean? Make it. Oh God, that's what it means. Grenade. I wonder uh, if when you get back to the old ED, if he has to like the arc welder though, or if he's got uh, some random, or he's got his old weapons. I, I do like the aesthetic of this ED significantly more. It's because he's much, you know, cooler looking, for lack of a better word. I'm gonna explore through here. Right. Oh, I could have just gone around the back lane. You gotta take the uh, skill points when you get ooh, average and you get something good in here. Alright, see the bobby pin. Not bad. I'm getting a decent amount of stim packs up, and I'm, although I know I'm going to eat these words horribly, so far these enemies have not been too bad. So, although they said it's a level 25 plus DLC, so. 
can only imagine that it's going to get disgusting. And again, I'm not sure if this is modded or DLC, so I'll take it with me for now. And then confer. They seem rather, they seem rather specific for DLC weapons. So we're going to go check the barracks. These are even open, actually. I do like the aesthetic so far. Oh, they're... Oh, it's the armory. Nice. I have the codes for this. There's some good stuff in here. Maybe this is where you get the rocket's red glare, actually. It's the unique rocket launcher was in the trailer. Oh, more dudes pinned to the wall. The Valley Knife, I think, is probably uh, a weapon added by the DLC. Uh, yeah, that's the, gotta be the rocket's red glare. Whether or not it's in here is, of course, uh, anyone's guess. Uh, probably not in the fridge, but worth a shot. After they put the, uh, what's, what's it called, the, uh, the Helios 1 targeting device in, uh, hmm, yeah, after they put the Helios 1 targeting device in the, some random, with some random kids in the free side, in my opinion, all, bu all bets are off as to what, uh, they'll do. Why can I not remember the name of that? It's, it's bothering me now. I should know the name of that. It's the, it's the... Poseidon something, I think. Oh, it's got some weird name. Funny looking thing. Alright, so. If it's not in here, ooh, magazine. Oh, a book! I can raise my gun skill from 9 to 12. Alright. Nice. Got some terrible to marginally less terrible. More right here. Take it and repair the one I have. Oh, let me show you that uh, you guys that in, uh, in a better light, actually. Let's take a look. And again, I want. I think this is uh, added by Lonesome Road, but I will uh, uh, ver at, verify. Actually, no, I'll, I'll verify it right now. It's just all right. So you guys probably can't tell, but uh, I just started away, and I think, yeah, none of those really speci specifically named weapons are new ones. I believe they're all modded weapons. But, however, the riot armor, which I'm wearing right now, I can confirm is, in fact, uh, yeah, that, that is legit armor. So, I'm wondering, ooh, another canister, and if that's the ammo. Uh, whoa! That's a little weird looking. That's really weird looking. What the hell? Just am I having like, am I tripping balls or something like point lookout style? Uh, who, who knows? All right, so uh, I, I guess that stuff just you know, kind of hinting at it, but they won't give it to us necessarily, which kind of makes sense. I'm just glad explosive. Ooh, it's dark out. All right, I'm glad explosive users uh, users got some love because they were kind of getting reamed, as it were. Explosives have not been very good, so hopefully Rocket's Red Glare is just absurdly powerful, because they could really... And also, hopefully it's not used on me if it is absurdly powerful, but they could really use some love, so... Don't want to begrudge them that. Yep, those are all closed, but best to make sure that's how you don't miss stuff. Or, I guess the better phrase would be how you avoid missing stuff. Men's barracks. Oh, oh lordy. Uh, oh, you suck. Times like these make you add, you don't have well down equipped. Huh. That is a lot of flesh, but there are not super units around. Turn that DC super mutants, so at least I hope not. That would be kind of a downer. Although, on the other hand, there'd be no night kin, but they have that freaking overlords, which is an absolute nightmare to fight. Yeah, well, seriously, those things are terrifying. Right, we'll sleep for an hour. Yay, yeah, bunk goods. And more MREs. Hmm. Did you find something? 
He had to have. Oh, right, a commissary. You do your thing, crazy little robot. Pillow. Dead guy. Yep, those are not... Uh, or those are modded weapons, so I guess they must be drawn on the pool model weapons they have it. Which is cool. Also, uh, side note, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but you will have to upgrade new, a New Vegas script extender if you want some of your mods to work. Fortunately, the upgrade is out, so no worries there. Uh, you can get that, just download the same way uh, you download NS NVSC normally. And I have heard some people uh, asking me about that, or I've gotten some questions recently. Maybe the follow one me to do again. You have those playing through one, I guess you would really appreciate it for them. So sorry about the tangent. Anyways, some people have been asking me about that, so I probably will do one in the near future. Just got to figure it out. It's really quite simple, so it'll be only like a minute or so. so. I will do that, uh, or try and do that in the near future, to help you guys. That's a lot of rockets. Uh, but yeah, Fallout 1, a lot of, I really like that they reused a lot of that music, because it's so atmospheric. I'm actually not sure if they used it in, uh, 3 I feel like they don't. Whoa! Oh lord, they like their grenades here. And I'm on, oh god. That's, I'm fire. Oh, look at that nice warm glow on my L-E-A-E-R there. Isn't that nice? What? I'm so bad at this. Times ahead for me. And ED is also on fire. Flare gun. I feel like that's probably uh, modded as well. Uh, let's take it. Well, I'm over encumbered. Oh, right, on the power armor equipped. Right. That's weird. It's all about. Well, back to Courier 6 power armor for now. Be all buff and manly like. locked around here. So I just saw something that was a little sneaky. Uh, that gets me. A locked metal box. That's something I don't know if I've ever seen before. Hmm. Well, good to know it's full of parts if I need parts. Which I don't anticipate, but, you know. Let's recycle some stuff. Oh, you can, oh, you can make them? That's really cool. I like that. I do like this L-A-E-R, I think it's a... I didn't even find it, see if there's a high risk in for that, because the back looks a little... Uh, but... It's strong. Got a good clip size. Doesn't guzzle ammo like a motherfucker, like so many other energy weapons. Oh, God. Where is that guy throwing grenades from? Oh, yeah, that's gotta be... Eve explosion. Oh, Jesus. You, get away. It's a thermic lance, I think. Yeah. Quiet or honey shitheads. Oh, I am wearing armor that their crab is effective up against, I just realized. <laughs> well, nothing for it. I don't want to have to drop anything yet, so. I can always store it, but I'd like to find a, some kind of concrete safe home first. We can sleep on this handy dandy bed. Be magically restored to full health through the healing power of naps. A vital tool in the explorers and there's also uh, any explorer's arsenal. <laughs> I'll just be so excited to play Lonesome Road. Oh god Oh, he didn't just mean silos. There are literally nuclear warheads. I, I probably walked past one or two of those already, haven't I? 
That's embarrassing. And also potentially lethal. But, uh, don't need this. You know, let me take, take over the plasma mines, actually. That I will take, because those are quite powerful. Cool, uh, bad, you don't see those too often, because they're pre-war bedrolls. So we wrapping this up in a minute. I'm gonna do one more part tonight. So I want to give you guys like a good hour and a half or so gameplay before, and I will be cracking on it tomorrow as well, of course. Yeah, you need to check my settings. Let's see what's up with that. Frame rate has been pretty good though, since I put in the D3G9 uh, fix, which again unfortunately precludes. Uh, and they had shaders from working, but, oh, well, that's cheery. What are you gonna do? Performance is more important than graphics, especially for recording. Uh, hmm, I thought that was something, but it wasn't very well set. In. Oh, Ulysses log. Ah, uh, bastards said he's hid them away. Oh, why did I take ammo I know why my pit boy's all dark. It's weird. Emptiness here, like the sands of the great salt lake, echoed the beating in the divide sky, like storm drums of the white legs. Oh, white legs. Ran with Hate them on the guys. salt beds at Kaiser's command. Cut the throats of oh, the two headed for beer. Whatever. Cut all Bitch. communities off. You storm, sky, disease, fire, Starvation and the violence of the ignorant to ruin all who could might stand against him. But the white legs, they couldn't live on their own like most scavengers. So gave them purpose, turned their hunger into a weapon. The wall of new Canaan, too high oh. for Kaiser. Yep, that's a nuke. From his past that needed killing. Memory of Graham. Help them dig out Canaan's supply caches and other secrets the sands hid. Whoa, what? Bunkers filled with powered weapons, even the Brotherhood oh, we, might desire. They were, oh, they, oh, they can call I get... these new weapons storm drums in the firing of shells. Taught them the Ooh, power weapons even the Brotherhood would decide. Those are shitty guns. Runs. So dedicated to the old world, why the hell is he running around with friggin' Caesar? I mean, fuck Legion. I'm a fan of them from a, I'm a great fan of them from a, uh, just a, a story standpoint, but I am not a fan, I was already here, sorry. I am not a fan of them as a faction. I do not support Legion at all. So, yeah, frankly, uh, if he's supporting Legion, I will try and find some way to nuke the hell out of them. Kind of got the impression that he was going to uh, be a more neutral guy too, which I guess might lead to him maybe help, you know, rail against Legion again sooner, like say help out in CR or something, who knows. This guy seems a little fickle. Alright, so anyways, uh, in order to avoid like another 40 minute one, I'm going to end it there for right now, so... I've just found the first Ulysses log and kind of wandering around uh, the divide. So as always, thanks for watching. This is a tune there. This has been part 55 of Fall of New Vegas Let's Play. And I'll see you all guys later.